What is up guys, it is Nick. We are back and in today's video, this is a video that was requested before the PlayStation 4 dropped and I wanted to get it out for uh, the viewer uh, sooner rather than later. Uh, I had a bad day, so I have like, I don't know, I have like chronic migraines. Um, I used to have them a lot more, but uh, I went to and I, had, I was on some medicine for a while and then I was able to get off of it uh, last year. Uh, but obviously it didn't get rid of them completely. That's never going to happen. I know that. But uh, yeah, so I spent most of the day just kind of sleeping, uh, trying to get rid of it. I still don't feel the greatest. So I felt like this video it was a good day to do this video. And then tomorrow I will have both a Ranger and a uh, Noobs Guide video. We'll be back with the Noobs Guide. Take. I'm going to record a little bit of it tonight and a little bit tomorrow. Um, and so the video today is my settings and loadout for my sorceress. So I'll probably just title this my, it's not really a build because they want to see like my settings and game and stuff like that. And so I'm going to go over that. Um, another thing is in a future video this week, probably this weekend, I'm going to be furnishing this house. Um, I have a chair and I have a jukebox in here. And that's it. So I will probably go ahead. I went ahead and picked up some pearls to design a house. And so I'm going to do that for you guys and show you that. I also bought this residence up here. So maybe we'll do like a uh, kind of mansion type build here. I wish there was like, I wish you could buy a staircase that went down if you bought both of these. But you can't. So we, you have to go outside of my house to go to the different floors. But I think we can design something pretty cool. So I'm going to be doing that in a future video. Um, just an FYI, obviously this is on Xbox. As soon as you start seeing stuff, you're going to know it's on Xbox. Not on PlayStation. Should be in the title somewhere. So uh, let's do this. I don't know if this will go into the Sorcerer's Grind for Max playthrough or what it's going to be labeled. But all right. So we'll start out. Um, they wanted to know just briefly what I do on a daily basis. So every day when I log on to this character, I check my mail. I go through and I grab my... Um, my family fame fund. I go to the challenge rewards and collect everything there that I can collect. And then usually I head to thousands to do the thousand daily quests. And then I just store the thousand drops. So these drops right here. I usually just store those on my wagon that's parked at Sarma Outpost. And because I do that, it's really quick. So even if I don't have a lot of time to play that day, I haven't done it yet today. Uh, but if I don't have a lot of time to play that day, it allows me to at least do something and help progress. Uh, obviously, I haven't been on this character at all. I don't think I farmed at all on it since the release of PlayStation. Uh, I think I'll be able to start hopping back on it at the end of this week, maybe. Uh, maybe it'll be next week, but uh, relatively soon I'll be able to hop back on my sorceress and go about doing stuff like that. But that's the daily thing I do. If I have any extra time, I'll go then. I'll probably spend like 10-15 minutes at Thousands, and then I'll probably pull up a... If I have extra time, I'll pull up like a Netflix video or YouTube. Usually it's YouTube. And I'll head to either Bashim's or more recently, I'm going to start going to Desert Nagas. I've done Bashim's a lot. I need a break. So I'm probably going to go to Desert Nagas or down here eventually soon. I'm going to go to uh, Tidium Valley to do Desert Foggins. And goal is essentially just to complete one of these Marnie Stones. One to two of the Marnie Stones. I believe I can do about three per hour. So if I can do all three, I'll turn on a plus 100% and go ahead and go do that. Um, but it kind of just depends on the day. If I can only get one done, I'll only do one. And uh, that's just about that's about the, the farming I do. If I can do any more than that, then it's kind of just whatever I want to do. Uh, I am going to start doing when I go to... Because obviously it's a long trek to thousands then over here. Not that I do, if I'm over here and this is where I start, I don't run over to thousands to do thousands. It's not happening. I only do thousands if I'm at Altanova or uh, left side of the map. Um, I'm not running from, <laughs> I'm not running from desert to thousands and then back to desert. It's just stupid. I'm going to start trying to do Schultz Guard down here a little bit. Not a ton, 
but just a little bit of Schultz guard after I do thousands. Um, I'm not quite sure if I'm able to do Schultz guards, but that's what uh, that's what I think I'm gonna try to add a little bit into my daily um, my daily stuff because once PlayStation I get Ranger to 56 and I don't finish the noobs guy because I feel like that'll be an ongoing thing for a little bit of time on on PlayStation but once I finish Ranger and get her to 56 I'll probably stop playing on her until it's pertinent that I get back on her and play her maybe I'll get her to 57 I don't know uh, but I'm gonna quit playing the Ranger and come back to my sorceress because sorceress is my main and I, w I need to get her up to obviously do stuff in Camasylvia because I have not done any of that so um yeah, it's just a matter of when I come back here. I, I kind of figured out what I want to do and what I'm going to do on a daily basis. I always check Central Market and check to make sure everything I have up has sold. I don't have anything for sale right now, which is, I guess, an okay thing. But uh, I don't have anything for sale, so I don't have to worry about that. Um, and then I check the price of the items that I'm going for. So currently, I'm going for Beg's Gloves. That's the thing that I'm waiting on. Uh, it's going to take me a while to get to Beg's Gloves because I want Try Beg's and they're $670 million. So it's going to take me a little bit to get Beg's. Uh, once I start playing this more on a daily basis, it will be less of an absolute grind. Because right now it feels like a grind because I can't... I have been playing on here. But yeah, I just check what... Uh, what I'm waiting on to buy. Um, I guess if I had to say I'm waiting on something else, it's earrings. And I'm waiting on either Tungrad earrings or I'm waiting on uh, Red Coral, the plus accuracy to Red Coral. So probably looking for Try or um, Duo. Could buy the Duo, obviously. I have 134 million, but uh, yeah, that's what I'm looking for in that case. The one positive is whenever I decide it's time to buy bags, I can sell these gloves for 77 million. So I only need to get about 600 million to buy bags gloves. And so hopefully here... Hopefully here by mid-September I'll be able to get Beg's Gloves. And once I get Beg's Gloves, the upgrades to the armor and stuff will start going faster. Next are my actual in-game settings. So for performance, I do not have the character optimization on. Uh, instead, I have just hide other adventures, uh, depending on the situation. In town, it tends to show most of the adventures. Um, in world bosses, it turns pretty much everybody off. And so it helps with optimization and performance. Uh, display settings, effects, my brightness is the same. I usually play with really bright brightness in games, but I don't for Black Desert. I left it on default. Uh, and then the HDR, my HDR is off. Um, I keep turning it on, and then when I reset the game, it turns it back off. So my 4K, yeah, my 4K is just off. I guess I'll turn it back on so that maybe it'll turn on. But my 4K, uh, just, I don't know. It just, it turns off like every time I turn my PS, or my Xbox on. I don't know why, but that's just the way it is. My audio settings, I don't think this is too important, but this is my, re I guess it's my recorded audio setting. So if you wanted to record Black Desert for yourself, these are my recording settings on Xbox. I will tell you on PlayStation, I believe my recording settings are 90 master... And I think it's 30, 30, 30, or is it, it's 22, 22, 22, 30, I think, is my PlayStation numbers, I think, is what I run. Um, yeah, that's it for audio. General settings in here is Marketplace, Enhanced Success, Enhanced Failed, and Guild Quest. I had Guild Quest on because I wanted to see that, but that gets really annoying too, so I just have all of it off. Miscellaneous. Um, I think actually with the fairy now, I kind of want to do the guided fairy line. Because I think it's cool with the since fairies are out, but it's kind of, I don't know, it's not as easy to follow. But I think it's kind of cool, but I haven't done, made that change just yet. What is that under miscellaneous? Yeah. I'll put it back to guide arrow, but I think I might make the switch because it'll be a little, be just a little bit more immersive. A little bit more immersive. Party and guild invites. I'm in a guild, so I want to see party invites when I get them, so I have that always reject off. Always turn down duel requests. I have that off, though. No one's ever challenged me to a duel. No one's ever to, no one's ever offered to trade that I wasn't, like, trying to trade with. Rotate minimap to match your character's perspective. I have that off. I 
I don't like that in any game, personally. Uh, hide UI when attacked. I don't want that. Um, if I wanted to be super immersive, maybe one day when I make like a super immersive video or something like that, I'll turn that off, but I don't. Auto run camera. Set the camera to follow the direction of your movement when auto using auto run. Auto run camera speed and guild members login. Should probably turn the guild members login off. I don't really care when people log on for my guild. So that's just one more thing that clutters the top of the screen, I guess. So moving on, action buttons. I have everything set up the same uh, as it comes to fault. I've thought about kind of messing with it to change it up and see about messing around with these to see if I can find a better combination of buttons to do, but I just haven't. Uh, probably won't because I'm so used to it at this point. Gamepad interface. I play every game with vibration off. I hate vibration. Um, I don't think any of this is too important. Someone did ask me about my sensitivity settings. So these are what they are on Xbox. They're 5035. Um, I think they allow you to move the camera around pretty well. Uh, and then I have manual camera and not auto because I don't want it doing it on its own. For chat windows, I have notice and world off. I have normal whisper party and guild on. Server and combat off, team and system on, and then I have all these other different system stuff off. I will turn it on from time to time, but I gen tend to leave it off. Uh, and then finally for this video, let's talk about skills and the rotation that I've been running. I need to make a couple of changes to my... Um, this is... So up on my D-pad is my scroll wheel here of different uh, skills. They're the four skills that I use the most. Shield of Darkness, which puts a shield on my character. Shard Explosion. Dark Trade, which gives me more um, Shards of Darkness. Shard Explosion throws your shards. It I don't use it very often, but it's really easy in like the scheme of combat to hit up and flip down to use that skill. Um, I might end up taking it off because I don't use it as much anymore because I use my Awaken Scythe more. But definitely, if you it, like on PlayStation where they don't have Awakenings, I would suggest using it there because, um, what am I trying to say? Because you will always have your amulet out, so you'll always be using those types of skills. You won't always be using um, the. What am I trying to say here? You won't always be using the uh, Awakening weapon like I do on Xbox. And then the final thing is Bloody Calamity. This is one that I think I will probably end up taking off here soon because I only use it on the switch from the Awakened weapon. Now, I'll talk about that in a second, but uh, because I have to let the cooldown go before I can show you. It's the one skill that I always talk about that's super awkward on Xbox. I don't love it, but... It is what it is. For my rotation for base, um, like if I didn't have Awakening, it's pretty simple. It's kind of, it's like, sw it swings, it's this first. I love that skill. It's L, it's LTB, so on PlayStation that's L2 Circle. And then it's right bumper in the flow. So while you're doing that, you hit right bumper and it'll do that slam out of it. If I didn't have um, Bloody Calamity in my... If I didn't have um, the Awakening weapon, that's when I would then use Bloody Calamity. I would either use Bloody Calamity there, or I would use this and then use Bloody Calamity after it. The Bloody Calamity restores health, which is very nice. Um, so I do like to kind of preserve it for a chance to use to gain health. So leading in, I either lead in Bloody Calamity if I need health, or I lead in with the the uh the slam the shadow eruption slam if uh i don't need help and health and then assume i get hit and then i can use the bloody calamity to gain the health back it's not like a crazy amount but it's still something then i usually hit a couple of those why is it not and then i dash back into this into the either dream of doom or is it gonna let me do it there's one where you throw there's one where you throw a ball but i there it is, right here. This one. That one, right there. One of those. I either ba I back into one of those. I, I back dodge into one of those attacks. And it's pretty much... I don't know. It's, it's just what I like to do. You can do that attack really quick like that instead of letting it get up into the air. I usually... It depends on how close enemies are to me. I can aim it a little bit better if I, you know, don't have... Um, if I let it get up into the air a little bit. Then, I usually just go for either RRA 
it's like it's right bumper right bumper right bumper right bumper a i gotta let the thing cool down but it's right bumper right bumper a oh my gosh let me do the skill why is it not doing it why is oh my gosh why is it not is it three i thought it was two yeah it's two there we go or no it's three i guess it's three it's swipe swipe forward and then it it does the it kind of like does like a shoulder bash type thing um i thought it was only two but i guess it's three it does that like small dish it's not a shoulder bash but it's like a it's like a darkness discharge out of her hand that she does that's one of my favorite ones you only really have to do if you look at the cooldown on this it's 20 seconds for the slam but it's only three seconds for the shadow eruption so you can come back to the shadow eruption pretty quick and with these they're really quick as well they're only 20 seconds as well so you only have to kind of fight for about 20 seconds I also like the Mark of Shadow, and I used to use Sign of Agony a lot when I only had... So Sign of Agony weakens them while dealing damage over time. And so that's back in X. It's something that you can cast in between. It's kind of just finding what helps you get to your rotation faster. So I'll try to do... I'll give an example here. So, okay, so we're going to say that there's... I'm a, I need health, so I'm going to dash in and use Bloody Calamity. That... It should have dashed, but whatever. Do that, and then dash back into this. Then I would usually dash back in, swinging like this. Do that. My back swings into the X. And then you can see most of the stuff is cooled down. So you could go back into Shadow Eruption, into the Explosion. You can go back into um, LTX. I mean, there's just plenty of options. It's just pretty much buying those 30 times seconds before you can do the skills i i really like this one um that skill right there the crows of darkness and the or yeah crows of darkness uh the claws of darkness into um what's it called the uh crow flare that's kind of, that's probably my favorite over this one but this one's a little more practical to be using because you push forward with it with the with the uh claws of darkness with the when you get to the x can i use please hello please use it why is it doing there we go crowfer i don't know why it wants to use the sign of it it wants to use sign of agony because sign of agony is the back part is holding back an x so it it gets confused because they made some of the skills the same buttons okay so moving on we'll talk about my sort my uh my awakening real quick so the reason why I want to take Bloody Calamity off the circle thing is because if you dash forward and hit A, okay, is it not, oh my gosh, it's not going to work? Why is it not work? oh my gosh, why is it not working? Dashing forward A, out of, oh, hold on, I'm doing it wrong, you gotta have, you, you gotta have this out. Dashing forward A is Bloody Calamity. I haven't played on my Sork for so long, I for, if you have your Awakening weapon and you dash forward and hit A, it will do the... It will do the bloody calamity. Oh my gosh, I completely was messing that up. Okay, but then when you're back here, all you got to do is hit right trigger and it brings your awakening weapon back out. So just imagine, so we don't have to wait the 20 seconds that I just use bloody calamity here. So now I have my, my uh, amulet out. I usually try to get off one of these, one of those, and then I go into this to the slam. Um, and then usually back up dot attack forward into this into back into my awakening weapon and then it's kind of just depends if there's a lot of enemies in front of me i'll do the spin the win um i'll probably i've started doing the spin the win a lot more because i'll interrupt it just when i don't need it anymore so say like this guy right here is the target i'm trying to kill i will go into my spin the win and then cancel it before it's it's time and when i get out of it it's two slashes and then it's the soul harvest which is holding a and soul harvest can interrupt literally anything so like if you're doing this you can interrupt it to do soul uh soul harvest you can interrupt pretty much every attack to do soul harvest which i really like it's one of my favorite um attacks that i've kind of learned it, it, you can interrupt literally any of your attacks to do um the soul harvest um, I love this skill as well. It dashes you back, and right bumper dashes you back forward. Right trigger will dash you in behind them. So, 
there's two different ways you can use it that I really like once it cools down. We'll do the example if you dash forward. So say like this post here is the enemy. If I dash forward into it and now I hit it, it's gonna hit it. And then what I'll do usually is hit it with the backspin right here, the backspin. And then you can hit it, um, you can hit it with, is it the RTRB, the high damage thing. Um, Grim Reaper's Judgment is one of the higher damage skills you have. It's a little bit slow to use, but the other option here is to do this, and you can see it strikes in from the back. So right bumper does a heavy strike forward out of it, and right trigger does a heavy strike off the into their back. And so that's kind of what I like to do. Um, I can try to show a quick rotation here. So I usually start with the scythe out. And so I'll spin the win in, and then soul harvest, and then I'll dash back into my favorite attack, this like crow attack or whatnot. Then I'll do this. And if they're right in front of me, I'll do the attack right into them. If they're a little bit farther away, I'll move the character slightly forward a little bit and then do the dash behind them. Kind of just depends on what the enemies are doing. After that, I usually try to do the Bloody Calamity. So I'll dash back away a little bit into the Bloody Calamity so that I can Shadow Erupt. At this point, I try to do, I try to hit the dark trade so I can bring this up. Then I use dark trade with left bumper, and then I usually dash back into my awakening weapon. That's kind of the rotation that I have right now on my sorceress. Um, it's hard to explain, but I, it's that that's kind of how it works. But a lot of my rotation is free formed. It's not a whole. There's like set skills that I know like, okay, if I want to do this, I do this. If I want to do that, I do that. It's not like a pure like every single time I'm doing the exact same thing. It's kind of like, oh, there's a guy, there's some stronger enemies in front of me. Okay, let me soul harvest into this and then maybe soul harvest backspin into a front spin type thing. It's kind of like I know depending on the placement of enemies and the strength of enemies, what attack I'm going to be doing. Just swish your enemies, you'll see me using the spin to win a lot more than against tanky enemies but uh yeah i think that's gonna do it for this video kind of a long-winded talk about my character build over here but someone wanted to look at my settings and someone there this video was requested before for the settings and then someone wanted to know my daily routine on xbox and someone wanted to know my rotation on sorceress they wanted to know it more for playstation that's why i went a little more in depth on like the base but i also went pretty in depth on the awakening it just kind of depends it's all up to you on what skills you want to use those are just the skills that i found that i've preferred obviously there's all sorts of different skills that you can do that i don't ever use um like dead hunt is not one that i use a whole lot i do use it but not a whole lot uh vile plan this is one that i don't use very often um, the one where it summons the giant orb is one that I don't use as well. I don't even remember what the button combo is that anymore. Um, Cry of Darkness is one that I wanted to start using a little bit more. I just haven't. But there's just a bunch of different ones, especially with the main, uh, main hand weapon. There's a ton of stuff that I just don't use. Um, I, I might try to use Black Wave once I hit 59. Um, I do like that, and there will be an absolute bloody calamity skill that I want to pick up. Um, I need to get to 59 so I can get absolute skills, but yeah, we're not at 59. But like Dark Flame, Dark Flame something that I don't use that's a pretty decent skill. Uh, maybe when I get that to uh, absolute, I'll start using it. Just depends when I get stuff to absolute. Uh, a lot of these good skills, I don't have the absolutes unlocked. But uh, yeah, I think that's going to do it for this video, guys. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. I know this probably isn't everybody's favorite video, um, just because it's kind of kind of whatever. But I did promise that guy, what on earth? I think I fell in this before. Oh my gosh, I fell in this little, they have this like hole in the roof that I, <gasps> I fell in this before. Where's escape? Um, but I know this wasn't everybody's favorite thing. I just... I told, I promised the guy who asked about my settings, as well as the guy who asked about my uh, rotation. I both promised them a video, so um, I didn't want to lie to them. So I, I wanted to get this video out for them and, 
and I thought this was a good day to get it out. Um, if you have any feedback or any questions you would like answered, let me know. I know housing is one video someone really wanted a video on, as well as um, how to make money. I'm not sure I'm the best person to ask about how to make money, but I will do my best to make a video on that. Um, yeah, I, I can't promise you it'll be a great video because I'm not that good at making money myself. But, you know, if someone wants to see it, I'll do some research and try to compile a list and uh, compile a, a, I don't know, a guide of some sort on how to make money. Uh, it's kind of it's kind of difficult for me with some of the guides since I'm still kind of not, I'm not like a veteran of this game myself, but uh, I will do my best. That's one thing that someone wanted to see. Um, someone also wanted to see a farming guide video, which I can do that as well. I'll probably do it on this character since I can access more areas and talk about stuff. Uh, but maybe I'll do it on the ranger. Who knows? But that's going to do it for the video. Like I said, if you have any suggestions for videos or things that you would like to see, or just a simple question you need to an answered, uh, I respond to all the comments in the comment section usually unless it's, I don't know, doesn't need a response or doesn't warrant one. Um, I, those, those are the only comments I don't respond to. So I'm going to stop blabbling on because that's what I do at the end of all of these videos. When I wrap them up, I just start talking. So I will catch you guys in tomorrow's video. Check back. Maybe five o'clock we'll have the Ranger and 11 o'clock we'll have the Noobs Guide. That'll be the goal. And I'll see you guys then. Peace.